Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome back to another episode of Zero Review, a series in which I look back on the games I played on my channel, and I give you my honest thoughts and opinions on said gameplay. And on today's episode, I'll be talking about another King's Quest game, but this one is the original one, as this is where the, the game series changed from simply typing in commands to the point and click genre, and that is King's Quest V. Now, like I mentioned before that, here is when they decided that they noticed that the whole typing in command to do specific things is kind of dying out and the whole, you know, the point about the whole thing with the mouse that you can just simply point and click to do all the commands. They decided to change in that, you know, to keep up with the times and everything. And not only that, but also they updated the graphics a bit on the, on this game because like, it's obvious to see here that, you know, it's not really block, block, you know, the block from, like, the old Commodore era, but it's definitely detailed that you can see the details of the houses, Graham, and all the other characters and everything. And, like I said, for a simple point-and-click game of this, this really is good that, you know... And also, you see, like, these boxes that you can see the characters talking, to, you know, talking and everything. Cause when I cause when I did look into it, there was no subtitle options, so basically it was a nice little feature that they added in there at least, you know, so that way you can, you know, see the characters, you know, talk and everything. So yeah, I mean, there's not much else more I can really say about King's Quest V. It's that it's definitely a fun game and really something that you know, if you're a fan of the old point and click games, this is definitely one that you would definitely you know get an enjoyment out of. So. I would recommend it, but if you don't want to play it, then, you know, that's up to you, so. In any case, guys, that's all the time I have for this episode, so as usual, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a comment below, subscribe for more your update, share us on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel, and the turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below. And as usual, guys, thank you for watching. And have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.